Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zephyr. Like the wind I go and like a man I come. And today, I have come to give you a game called Strange Horticulture and to see if it's worth playing during your downtime. Strange Horticulture was developed by Bad Viking and published by Iceberg Interactive. It is an occult puzzle game where you run a store Tristan Strange Horticulture. And my immediate reaction to the game is, oh yes, another store management game. I like. But I was only half right. It is a store management game, but not in the same capacity as Racketeer, Moonlighter, Cardboard Kings, or even Potion Craft. The only shared sentiment it has is that you are running a store, that is all. The silent main menu might be a deliberate design decision by the developers in order to cultivate suspense and mystery, and that a storm is coming. That or the lack of incentive to attract a composer to compose a background music for Strange Horticulture main menu. Either way, it does not matter very much as when you play the game for the first time, you will be enarmored by the sound of the rain. Listen. Did you enjoy the cat's purr? I know I do. And personally for me, that is enough as I enjoy listening to the sound of the pouring rain and the cat's purr. The enchanting ambience is a marvelous boon that makes Strange Horticulture a wonderful puzzle game experience. I am never a fan of puzzle games, yet I was charmed by Strange Horticulture premise. The puzzles are neither simple nor convoluted. The best way to describe the puzzle is that they are rather subtle. Your primary tasks are to identify as many plants and fungi as possible or seek them out in the world. You are given an incomplete encyclopedia that describes the nature of different plants and fungi that existed in the game. Descriptions that are not directly explicit, but enough for you to visually identify those plants and fungi upon closer inspection. And if that is not simple enough, Scrange Horticulture have a hint option button for you to press on the side. And the hint either tells you the next course of action for you to see, or helps you identify the plants that your client wants. Clients who enter through the door of your store in search of unusual or rare plants and fungi that can never be found at your local gardening store. And there are some instances where you are given the choice to provide your client with the exact plant or fungi they are looking for, or the polar opposite. This indicates the possibility of having multiple different endings, highlighting the high replay value that Strange Horticulture had. It took me about roughly 8 hours to complete a single playthrough, and to the best of my knowledge, there are at least 5 different endings. So, if you think the game is rather short, once you start chasing after every different ending, you are squeezing every value you can get out of the game. And due to its short time length for a single playthrough, I honestly do not mind replaying Screen Sporty Culture for another round or two. The game is not without a flaw, but it is nothing too serious as most of which is just a visual glitch. And the only downside I can think of to Strange Horticulture is that it is a puzzle game. I mean, there is nothing wrong with being a puzzle game. It is just that being a puzzle game, all of the answers to the puzzles can be found online. So, if you don't like exercising your brain or having a little bit of a brain tease, you can just go to Uncle Google and he will provide all the answers you need easily to solve the puzzle. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Strange Horticulture and the game is available on the PC. You can get Strange Horticulture for $14.50 or based on your region's GDP. Can I recommend you getting Strange Horticulture for $14.50 for you to play during your downtime? Yes, I can wholeheartedly recommend Strange Horticulture to you. It is a puzzle game that can be enjoyed by those puzzle game enthusiasts and even those who are new or not that into puzzle games at all. And I am one of those people that does not actively seek out other games to play, and yet I found myself having a wonderful experience with Strange Horticulture. Considering the criticism that I have for Strange Horticulture and its asking price of $14.50, I rate it 8.5 out of 10, and within its own puzzle game genre, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Strange Horticulture is one of those puzzle games where you can introduce to a friend who is looking for a gateway to the puzzle game genre. And at the same time, 
Friends of the Puzzle Game genre can also have a pleasant gaming experience with strange horticulture. My name is Zephyr, who like the win I go and recommend I come, and now it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching all the way till the end, and if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe and leave behind a comment down below as I would like to hear your thoughts about the video. If you would like to see me play the game first before it end up as a review, feel free to follow me on my Twitch channel as that is where I play all the games that I have reviewed in the past, both indie and triple A. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!